guys welcome back to my channel so this is a reading for divine feminine so let's go ahead and get started so the songs that you guys i mean not the songs but the best cards that came out for y'all was the player okay and then we have hold your head up high so somebody could definitely be a player here um in the situation and i kind of feel like there's a need for you to you know basically hold your head up high with confidence in the situation that cause you not to break down uh, because during this time period of this, I felt like I was getting ready to like break down in the situation. We have a single father here, so somebody could definitely be a single father and they have a hidden lover. So somebody could have hit a lover, okay, um, behind your back and somebody could definitely be a father now, okay. Um, this lover could have had dumped the baby on to this father okay um but whatever this is is going on in your situation they telling you to hold your head up high with pride here um and yeah, they telling you to hold your head up high with pride here um due to the fact that somebody could have been hiding this lover from you and this infant baby just popped up out of nowhere okay that's what it looks like here um, but we have Petty Betty on the block in reverse. So it was like, there's no need for you to be petty about the situation. Okay. Um, we had the bestie here. So this could have been somebody could have been, um, the hidden lover could have been the bestie here. So they, so this could also mean, um, the hidden lover could also be the bestie. Um, but they saying there's no need to be petty here. Um, in the situation towards the bestie, if this is the hidden lover. Or they saying there's no need to for you to be petty in a situation. Just like I feel like you and this whoever this masculine energy is as a single father, you guys are really close. So I kind of feel like this is like going to strengthen the bonds of you guys' relationship, or st strengthen the bonds of your your connection here, your friendship. Um, and that's why they saying for you to hold your hand up high and don't uh, don't be petty about the situation here. And then we have a gated community, and then we have always working. So this situation could have had took place, okay? Um, this could have took place because somebody was always working, okay, or always at work. Um, so this is how this came about here. Um, and somebody could definitely live in a gated community um, in a nice neighborhood. That's what I'm picking up. Well, this is something that somebody is working on or working towards here. Okay, getting themselves into like a gated community or a nice neighborhood. So, yeah, this person could have cheated because somebody was working a lot here. Um, and it could be definitely somebody from in the neighborhood. Or his best friend. Or somebody from work so yeah um so, all right so let's just get into the spread so i do see that you have been hurt a lot in a situation when it comes to this love connection um i kind of feel like whoever this is who you've been dealing with here um they could have been wanting to give you some type of an apology Okay, um, they wanted the opportunity or somebody wants the opportunity to apologize, okay, in this situation. I kind of feel like you're trying to make do with what it is that you have here. Okay, you have like, a, um, you're coming out as the Page of Pentacles in this. So you're trying to turn this Page of Pentacles into the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, um, you're trying to flip something or you're trying to manifest something or make your money grow. Okay, um, and I kind of feel like Aside from that, you have issues dealing with relationships, but you're trying to focus on money and trying to make your money grow. This is what you're working on here. Um, so you could be like oblivious to what is going on as far as like with this masculine energy here um, that you are connected with. You don't know that this masculine energy is connecting to somebody from that past. They or somebody is connected to somebody from that past here. Yeah. Because you're too busy focusing on money, which isn't a bad thing. You're working. You know, you're working, trying to grow your coin, trying to make your money, flip your money here. Um, which isn't a bad thing here because you, we have the will of fortune. So this is good 
fortune, good good fortune. I feel like whatever this is that you've been putting all this work into is definitely going to um arise. Okay, it's going to happen for you. But I kind of feel like you need to be like aware of somebody trying to like steal something from you or something like that. Somebody could be trying to steal like your fortune or something. Or steal what it is that you built or steal what it is. Yeah, somebody trying to like take what it is that you've built, take what it is that you are growing. And I kind of feel like whoever this is, they, I kind of feel like it's definitely going to come to light because we have the hermit in the reverse. Okay. So this is definitely going to come to light. Whoever this is, they could have been like sneaky trying to watch like what was going on with you. But I kind of feel like they can't hide in the dark no more. Like whatever this is, it can't be hidden in the dark no more. It's coming out. You're about to get an abundance of money. Whatever this is that you've been putting your hard work and effort into, it's definitely get ready to um you about to definitely get this this great fortune here. Okay. Um as far as this heartbreak is concerned, I kind of feel like you will be getting an apology or at least trying to like mend things over here um with whoever this is, but the goal now is to just mainly like focus on building your money and focus on building whatever this is that you're working on here um because i kind of feel like you don't see anything but what it is that you're passionately working on like your dreams or your goals um which isn't a bad focus to have but just also be like aware of like what's going on like in your surroundings as well but whatever this is that you're working hard on like this is about to it's going to give you great fortune Yeah, it's definitely going to turn out the way you want it to. If you've been working so hard to get yourself into a gated community or whatever this is, you're going to get that. Okay? <laughs> That's what they're saying for you to hold on. Like, hold your head up with pride in the situation. You may have a player on your hands or whatever the case may be, but I kind of feel like things could be worked out with you and this person or whatever the case may be. All things happen for a reason or whatever, but... I kind of feel like this was like to push the two of you guys together so that you guys can be more of like more close or to strengthen your relationship. That's what I keep picking up. Um, yeah. So the sign so far that I see is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. So heavy earth energy here. So the advice that you guys got is love yourself first. Okay, it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they want you to focus more on yourself. Okay, like I said, continue to focus on what it is that you're doing. Like... You know, um, continue to focus on what it is that you're doing. Um, I kind of feel like the stuff that's happening in the romance department, that's going to get settled out or sorted out. Um, but just keep focusing on what it is on what you're doing, which is the grinding, um, because that's going to actually pan out. And I kind of feel like you're going to actually have financial freedom so that you will be able to focus on love more and focus on things that surrounding you more or whatever the case may be. Um, we also have for you to reconsider a certain situation or connection. So this has something to do with this hidden lover and the single father. So basically, they basically saying don't be petty about the situation here. Um, in this connection, what you find out about this hidden lover and this baby that came into play. Um, because it looks like that the person that your person cheated on you with is ditching your person with the baby. So that means that your baby is going to, your, your, your baby, I said your baby, because maybe you will be, you know, playing a mother figure role to this baby because maybe that's all that you have. Maybe that's, you are the only one that can play that role to this baby. 
Because I feel like that other person ditched them on this, on your person. So you'll be playing like a mother figure or a mother role to this, to this uh, child. So they tell you to just hold your head up with pride and, you know, try not to have a breakdown and try not to be petty in the situation. Just try to reconsider and see things from all angles here, even though we know that this person hurt you. Okay. Um, and, you know, this could be the reason why you threw yourself into work. But once, once you achieve what it is that you achieve and what you're working on, then I kind of feel like you'll be able to fully, you know, see things clearly and be able to make the necessary steps that you need to make when it comes to this situation. Okay, but you know that. Um, so we have for you to reconsider and then we have perfect timing. So yeah, something is definitely going to happen or come within within a perfect um, timing for you. And then we have calling in your soulmates. Okay, so it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So yeah. Whatever this is that you've been praying for is definitely going to happen with any perfect timing for you. Um, this is why they tell you to reconsider, but also more so just focus more on yourself at this moment. And things is definitely going to pan out for you. Then we have religious factors. Okay, so that's things, like I said, that's going on in the background. I said that once you work on this, you know... Um, you know, your finances or whatever this is that you're working on that you're passionate about right now, you know, um, once you receive the material benefits of, you know, this project that you're working on or whatever this is, I kind of feel like all things else is going to work out full circle. That's what I was like kind of picking up. So, yeah, um, So, yeah, this religious fact is called everything is working out for a reason is what I feel here. So. Yeah, so everything is working out the way that it should. Everything is working out. Um, for a reason here. So, yeah, this was the, uh, this was the reading, you guys. So. Hopefully you guys got something from this reading. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop your comments. And if this reading resonated with you guys, hit me up on Instagram for personal if you want me to elaborate. And I'll see you guys in the next one.